My name is Josh Jenkins. This is my week seven practical application for FTT 100 for Sonoran Desert Institute. Today is July 5th, 2023. Hope you had a great 4th of July. The first thing we want to do with any weapon is we want to clear it. So we're going to point it in a safe direction. We're going to drop our magazine using the magazine release, and verify that there's no ammo in the magazine, and then we're going to rack it back to visually and physically inspect that there is no ammo in the weapon at all. Once we have done that, this weapon is now clean, clear, and we can go ahead on to the next step, which is going to be the cycle of operations. For our cycle of operations portion, we're going to go over feeding, chambering, locking, firing, unlocking, extracting, ejecting, and cocking. To do that, we're going to use a couple of simulated rounds called snap caps, which will do the job for us very well. So what we're going to show you right now is the feeding and chambering. And now the round has been fed into the chamber and now it is locked in place. And now we are ready to pull the trigger and fire it right now. Now, this next portion is to unlock the slide and eject the spent round. While holding down the trigger, I'm going to rechamber a new round, and by letting my finger off the trigger, the firing pin is going to reset itself back into place. Now, I'm going to once again pull the trigger or eject the round and show the weapon to be both clear and safe. I'm going to drop the magazine using the mag release, show that the magazine is clear, and I'm going to do a visual and physical inspection of the weapon as now this weapon is clear. We're going to clear our weapon, make sure there's no ammo in the magazine or around the table. I'm going to visually inspect down the barrel here and physically inspect. This weapon is now clear. Now, to disassemble this Glock 43, what we're gonna do is you can pull it back just a little bit to get some tension on it like this. I prefer to pull it like this, get a little tension on it, and then take our takedown pins right here. Never goes the right way the first time. And then we're gonna pull it off. Once we pull down the takedown pins here, Inspect our frame for dirt. Got a bit of dirt right here and right here. Set that aside for right now. Move our magazine out of the way. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna inspect for dirt right here, which it looks like we've got a little bit right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our guide rod off. So we're gonna depress it a little bit here, pull it off, set it down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come back around here with our pinky, pull the barrel off, and inspect that as well. And we have a field stripped Glock 43X. Now what we're gonna do is using the SDI provided carbon destroyer uh, cleaner that we got in the kit. Uh, I sometimes may use a CLP, but for this demonstration, we're gonna use what was provided by SDI, which again, and this is going to be the carbon destroyer and the accuracy oil. So what we're gonna do is make sure we get the lid off here, yep. We're gonna put a little bit of this carbon destroyer on all of our bits here, right here. And it's important with any firearm, and this Glock 43 is no different, is that when you're putting oil or uh, this ac uh, the carbon destroyer or the oil on it, is that you keep uh, the firing pin clear of any oils and whatnot. So you wanna do is keep it at an angle and uh, wipe from there. So again, this stuff, you don't need a lot. So what we're gonna do. And we're gonna put a little bit right here too on the barrel and the spring. And then just a little bit right here in the mechanism for both the, the frame as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the SDI provided uh, nylon brush. And we're just gonna go through and we're going to clean as best we can all the parts we can. So we'll make sure we get down into the little bits, little bits and bobs down here. Make sure it is nice, nice and clean. <laughs>
then for our barrel, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to clean it too. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to show the dirt inside. So throw a little carbon buster or carbon in there as well. And it really doesn't matter which way you go as long as you go in, in a similar direction. So I'm going to take this cleaning pad again provided by SCI. And we're going to put it down in the barrel there to show it's a little dirty. Let's see that. Okay, cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, my hops uh, boar snake specifically for handguns. Going to put a little bit of our cleaning solution on the side of the boar snake. And we're going to drop it down this way. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do that uh, where we took this dirt for first one. And we're going to show that it's now clean. That is look, and that is looking great right there. What I'm gonna do now is just kind of wipe everything off. Uh, standard paper towel, shop towel. Make sure we get all the excess off of this as well. You make sure, and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of oil on everything, just to make sure everything's nice and oiled up. Not a lot, just a little bit. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to reassemble everything. So let's move this out of the way. So to do that, we're just going to reverse the order of operations. We're going to take our barrel first. We're going to slide it in. Get it back on the slide. Take our guide rod. Make sure we put it in hole first. And then we're going to seat it down properly on that little divot that's down there. Then what we're going to do, grab our frame. Turn it the right way, of course. Start from the front, move our way back, make sure it's all tap, gets on those tabs, those tabs correctly. Last thing you wanna do is booger something up once it's on there, then you're gonna rack it back and then point, point it in a safe direction and do a test fire. Wipe it down one last time. And that is a complete clean of a Glock 43X.